folks, it's Pastor McKim here, just giving you the wee weekly update from the People's Church Newton Abbey. Thank you for tuning in. We had a brilliant week last Sunday morning in the car park twice, two full car parks, drive-ins, and also Sunday night, the gospel message with Pastor John. We also had a brilliant night as well, uh, and online again for the call to prayer. Amazing response to the call to prayer. People are being stirred being encouraged to pray and seek the Lord in these dangerous days and we praise the Lord for that and also Wednesday night great walking in step with the Holy Spirit what a message a real great Bible study with Pastor John again and then we're looking forward to the weekend folks we're looking forward to another two drive-ins uh, on Sunday morning 10 o'clock and 11 30 a.m. please if you haven't got your name down or you haven't got your car book space book then phone Cali the numbers on the screen phone Cali and book your car in and come and worship with us bring your emblems and remember the Lord's uh, communion with us and then also let's hear from the Lord as well but don't forget Sunday please do not forget the clocks go back so don't you be coming up here at nine o'clock when it should be ten o'clock and you're too early anyway Praise the Lord. Put the clocks back for Sunday and we'll be here to worship the King in the beauty of holiness in a car park. We're in the car park and we're worshiping the King in the car park. And for those who can't be in the drive-ins, uh, for those online, listen, you be also tuned in at the same time and we'll worship the Lord together in the drive-in car park and also online to the glory of God. Let's come. I've got a wonderful message for Sunday morning. Please come and let it inspire you, let it challenge you, and let it change you and make you more like Jesus. That's what we want to be in these funny days. These are strange days, and the government regulations seem to be getting tougher each week. So we're trusting the Lord, and that's why we're staying in the car park, because they're talking about closing the churches again because there's pubs closed so we're glad that we're in the car park and we're in the car park it's because people feel safe in their cars rather than get inside among other folks at the moment it's just a bit dangerous at the minute anyway we can't get all our people in in one service not even in two but have to go to three services indoors and then would have to clean and that wouldn't be that wouldn't be practical so we're staying in the cars at the moment and you know something it's great because you can still stay connected and you can still praise the lord and you can shout as loud as you want hallelujah and praise the lord in your car nobody hears you and and you know the radio channel is as clear as a bell as well it's brilliant so we can't complain and i'm just looking i'm just turning around to look at that porch that you're looking at there those doors do you know we had to build that for government regulations because of the flow of people we also had to tarmac the car park and you know something god's ahead of us because he must have knew of course he knew he knew what was coming with the lockdown and the, the pandemic and now today that porch is our pulpit and this car park is all marked out and we have all oh, plenty of cars in this car park on a sunday morning twice and we say to god be the glory so god's way ahead of us he's already seen the pandemic and by the way he's seen it coming he's going to bring us through and he'll see it going because that's what we're praying so don't forget keep your eyes on jesus don't be looking around you don't be looking in because you'll despair and when you look around you you'll also be in distress so don't there's people and they're struggling they're struggling with their mental health they're struggling with home domestic situations people can't go to work people are fr frightened of losing their jobs people have already lost their jobs and their businesses and it's really really getting tight at this moment in time and people are afraid brother and sister i'm glad the church is a place of refuge the name of the lord is a strong refuge the righteous can run into it and are safe thank god we're together in a car park we might be in our cars that's okay we can feel safe in the cars but we can worship the lord and we can be part of his church together in the car park if you haven't been yet maybe if you're from another church may the lord bless your church and may the lord bless your pastor but for the people's church and maybe you've never been to church any church and maybe you're watching this little advert online why don't you come and enjoy 
worship with the People's Church Newton Abbey. We're here to praise God. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. And we're here to encourage people to put their trust in the Lord in these strange and dangerous times. May the Lord bless you. Just want you to also think about on Sunday. Come with the Spirit of God welling up within your soul. Let's worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Also showed you more work being completed here. We're putting ramps in to keep big lorries out because they'll tear up this tarmac and we want to keep them out. We also want to take, uh, keep the joyriders out as well. There's so many donuts around here and there's been paint spilled. So we're trying to just get everything sorted and this is secure. And may the Lord bless this coming weekend. Have a brilliant week and let's have a Christ-centered, spirit-filled Lord's Day. Come with expectations. Do you know on Wednesday night people text this morning and last night that they, they, they sense the presence of the Holy Spirit and uh, on Wednesday night in the car park in the drive-in service. That's what we want to hear. People leaving saying they were conscious of the presence of the Lord and for the power of his word in our lives. May the Lord bless you brother and sister. Oh keep going. Keep serving. Keep worshipping. And keep following Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ. There's nobody like him. He's beautiful beyond description. God bless you.